Nice. You want to go back to the uh, media editor and see what's going on. You can select all of your regions here, holding down shift, selecting them all, and then double click. And it opens everything up immediately without having to turn on the tracks. Again, what's great about working this way is that I'm able to see all the notes in relation to each other. And I can change the resolution. It's superior to a step sequencer. I can see whether how the notes are hitting in relationship to each other. Um, I can see each note individually, the velocities for each note. I can, I can listen to everything playing back. I can erase and delete notes as I program them in. I can change my resolution. Can't do any of that level of editing on a pattern sequencer. And I will conclude with, back to the edit mode here, zoom out. And I've got my grid here set to bars. And now what makes this really easy is once you've got all your basic beats, let's say I've programmed a couple of these. Imagine that's my pattern on my pattern sequencer. I can just duplicate these through here. I can make editing changes. So let's say I've made a change to these. Open up my color palette here and just color change all those. So let's say all those are different. That's my chorus or something like that. I can move to, say, shuffle mode. And I can literally grab all these guys and just change their position. It's a great way of arranging. Say I want to put this kick drum pattern over here, I can just grab that kick drum pattern and scoot it over there. 